Alright, Shalom. It's Karab Karab. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yah by Shemiel Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone at Ruel and Greece and Barakathom. Blessings to you, all you sincere Aki throughout the four corners of the earth that are pushing the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risking your lives to do so. Okay. And basically, this is a response to the video that the elder apostle Tahar did. And we desire that every one of you. Do show the same diligence, and that's our service, man. And it, it goes without saying. You can hear that in uh, the elder sentiment. You know, I shouldn't. He shouldn't have to do videos like that. But at the end of the day, he does. Cause I've heard from the beginning that uh, since I came in this faith a little over four years ago, that you know that they're niggards amongst Great Millstone. Okay. So there has to be instances like this that sift out, you know, the leaven, you know, or, or sift out, or cut off the fat, you know, and, um, you know, it's, and it's still merciful within what, what, what he, what he decreed or, uh, or the order he made, you know, three videos, 10 minutes long fellowship once a week, camp once a week, that's still minimal. You know, it's still merciful to the most high. But it just shows you that niggas niggas don't understand what, what this thing is uh what this thing is about, you know. So, you know, instances like this are needed, you know. Just to you know, to draw the line in the sand. You either on this side or you're on that side. It's no gray area with the most high. No lukewarm shit, man. Okay? And um, you know, it, it, it works one way or the other, man. You either get exhorted by it. Or you get butt hurt by it and you fall the fuck out, man. You know? So, hey, you know, and then, you know, you got some that maybe say, oh, well, that's not scriptural, you know? N nothing says you had to do three videos, 10 minutes long. Okay, but hey, that's cool. That's cool also, man. You know? But, you know, the scriptures are, the spirit speak of expressly. So, I'm, I'm jumping to some scriptures here just to, you know, Edify found the point that the elders bringing up. Okay, the first scripture I want to get here is uh, let's go to this. Let's go to Proverbs. Proverbs thirteen and four, and it says, "The soul of the sluggard desireth, and have nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat." Let's look up that word sluggard. Okay, word slugger simply means lazy, <laughs> slugger, sluggish. Okay, so it's basically saying a lazy nigga he desires, but he ain't gonna have shit, man. You know what I'm saying? It says, but the uh, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat, man. Made fat with what? The truth and the understanding of these scriptures, man. That holy water, man. That abundance. You know, the strength and uh, stability of the times. That's what the the the, uh, the, the, the man that's diligent is going to be full of. Okay, matter of fact, let's look up diligent. Sharp pointed, sharp, diligent, strict decision, decision, trench, moat, ditch, goal. You see, trench, moat, ditch, meaning the man at war. You at war, you diligent, man. You trying to you trying to stay alive, and that's what it is in this faith, man. We 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 soldiers of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. We gotta be diligent, man. We gotta fight the good fight of faith. Okay. Okay. Next scripture. Let's get uh Baruch four. Let's go down to twenty eight. It says uh. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, which we all did, we all fell away from this truth, you know. And um, hey, if, understanding that if we didn't return, the Most High was gonna put us to death, man. Okay. So verse twenty-eight it says, "For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so being returned, seek Him ten times more." So seeing that the Most High has mercy on us to allow us to come back into this faith, man, and the back into this knowledge and to wake up from this 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 cloak of wickedness the most i mean the uh the the, the devil which is the so-called white man cast it over our heads man 
we got to seek the most high 10 times more. So that scripture alone validates what the elder apostle Tahar said, man. You know, you got to seek him 10 times more. So really three videos, 10, ti 10 minutes long is not enough, you know, but he's just setting the standard. And that's the most high speaking through apostle Tahar, man, showing his mercy. Just do that much, man. You know, I understand you, you got this and got that. But, hey, you got to understand what the, the ancient men went through as well. You know, it doesn't compare. It really doesn't compare, man. OK. So let's go here. Uh, this is. Um, uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. This is first Corinthians nine. And I guess we go to 16, which reads, For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. Okay? And this is uh, uh, Apostle Paul speaking. He said, well, Though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. Why? And we, can, we go through the same thing because we, we preach the word. We, we want righteousness. You know, we, we escheweth evil. But at the same time, hey, we'll go to camp, we'll fellowship with brothers, have a beautiful time, and then turn around and see two faggots kissing. Why? Because we're not in our kingdom. And that's what the glory is. The glory is, is when the kingdom takes place. So though we preach the gospel, we have nothing to glory of, okay? I'm going to read that again. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 9 and 16. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me. Necessity is laid upon me. Yeah, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Okay, so we've been called. Okay, we've been called to do this work, man. So if if uh, there's a necessity, if you're called, there's a necessity laid upon you to push this thing, man. Okay. And, and the reality is we got to seek them 10 times more. And if we're not doing that, like the scripture says here, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Okay, and that's the type of labor that it takes. Why? Because the scriptures say that the work is great, but the laborers are few. Okay, so hey, all this, and we can go through a plethora of scriptures that validate what the elder apostle brought out, man. Okay, and it's just exhortation, man. You either take it as exhortation or you take it as uh, that's you know uh, uh, that's not scripture. And hey, well, go do your own thing, like the elder said, you know. Okay. So. Last scripture I want to get here is uh, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2, and we'll start at 3. It says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Why? Because we're in the spiritual warfare right now. And soon it's going to turn physical. Lord willing, we be part of the elect. We'll be those fishers that are turning the hunters. Okay? So we got to endure hardness as a soldier right now, you know? Because, like Apostle Paul just said, Though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. <laughs> okay? So we actually warn and, and, and not get having nothing to glory of. Okay? That's enduring hardness as a soldier. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It, it, it all goes together. It says, verse 4, No man war, no man that war entangle himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Okay, and that ties back into what we just read in um what we just read in first Corinthians nine and sixteen, man. Though we though we we, we 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 preach the gospel, we have none to glory in. That's that's the war. Pushing this gospel amongst wickedness that's being uh uh, uh sown in, in, in the land, man, and amongst our people. Okay. It says uh because we can't entangle ourselves with the affairs of this world, man. You know? And if you're constantly doing the work and you're pushing this word, you ain't got time for that bullshit, you know? But there's got to be a balance. But at the same time, man, we got to push this word, okay? And, and three videos, 10 minutes a week, fellowship and camp once a week, that ain't going to take up a, 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 a quarter of your time, okay? <laughs> so that's why there's no excuse, okay? Verse 5. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully, man. And that's the point. We're striving for the masteries of this thing, so we have to do it lawfully. And the, and, and the law, uh, 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 
exudes us to be diligent, man. To be diligent and not slothful in our work. So we got to push this thing. And, hey, just to validate it, the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai spoke through Apostle Elder Tahar to push this word, man. And if you can't push it, get the fuck out the way, man. Okay? So, uh, Lord willing, that was edifying. Yahweh by Shem Shai, Barakatham, Shalom.